next video in my little series on time management. In this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of the time management matrix, which is a prioritization tool developed as a fourth generation time management tool by Stephen Covey in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So the principle is simple, that we have tasks that are urgent and tasks that are important and tasks that are a combination of both or neither of these. So the matrix is a way of organising your to-do list for the day or the week and allowing you to see what your priorities are. So first you would write your to-do list as you would normally, which if you're anything like me is what comes into your head first. So in a way that is just unloading or downloading your brain, your busy brain onto a piece of paper. But that's not very useful if you have a group of disjointed things, some of them which might be related to home, some to work, some to your studies, and some to other people, family, things you have to do, and maybe even dates and things to remember rather than things you have to do specifically. So we need to organise those in order to begin to effectively see where we need to spend our time. Because I can pretty much guarantee that your to-do list for the day will have about four times as many things on it as you can actually get done in a day. So where do we spend our energy? So Stephen Covey's time management matrix is arranged in a square, okay? With split into four squares. And the idea is that in each of these quadrants, as he calls them, you list things according to urgency and importance. So quadrant one is both urgent and important. So urgency goes across the X axis, and importance goes across the y-axis. So quadrant one in the top left uh, for you is urgent and important. Next to that is important but not urgent. The third quadrant is urgent but not important and the fourth quadrant is neither urgent nor important. Now the four different areas Essentially, quadrant one, which is important and urgent, if you work mostly in that area, you are in crisis management mode. This has to be done by 9pm tonight. It's overdue. So X so and so needs it. I have to get it done now. You push everything else out of your schedule and you focus on finishing that task straight away. You're managing crises so you don't miss deadlines, so you don't disappoint other people immediately. Quadrant two is where the most effective work happens. These are things that have value. They are important to remember your self-leadership plan, your goals that you have already established. You've been watching the earlier videos. These are, if you like, preventative maintenance because these things are important. So if you don't do them while they are not urgent, time will pass and they will slip into the crisis management of urgency. If for any reason you decide that they're no longer important, then they slide down to the urgent but not important or not urgent and not important at all. Quadrant three, which is urgent but not that important to your goals, usually turn out to be other people's priorities and not your own. And we'll think about ways of managing other people's priorities as well after we've spoken about the quadrants. And then the fourth one is um, somewhat disparagingly known as busy work in Stephen Covey's book. So it's not urgent, it's not important, it's busy work. It's things that take up time but actually do not promote your effectiveness and really don't spend any time on them. They're not important, they don't need doing. If, if you have nothing else to do then perhaps you can start on that quadrant but not otherwise. So the principle is that if we don't have a clear idea of what is important, of the results of what we desire in our lives, we are easily diverted into responding to the urgent. So it's really important that you look at the first instance of self-leadership, that you know what your aims and your goals are and which activities are going to contribute towards that. Otherwise, it's very easy to get diverged, to get pushed into other people's priorities and you get buffeted around by other people's idea of what you ought to be doing rather than what feeds into your own goals and your own well-being. 